Revelio. Bombarder. Descendo. Depulsor. Accio. Why, when I go to Gringotts, do I get I some sniveling wizard telling me you've frittered away half our fortune on the sweets trolley? Are you trying to bankrupt us? Put it on my mother's account, you say? Well, no more! I am cutting you off! Isn't Sebastian Salo's family from Feldcroft? I would have expected him to be from somewhere more posh. I could just have a butterbeer from the Three Broomsticks right now, and a chat with Tirona. Both are excellent, Tommy. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humour me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz, just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid! Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Felix Felicis. Well done. 
done. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Quaffle. That's right. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. False. Correct. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I'm sorry, I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make quick work of this. Revelio! Rebellion. <laughs> B. 
The grey lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Revelio. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. So this is the Underground Harbour. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Likely powerful spells for the complexion. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it! Beautiful. Goodness. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Class is 
dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. I haven't been called Puffskeen Dunking once since you brought me that venomous tentacular leaf. I think I am actually braver. You're quite close to Professor Fig, aren't you? I've always wondered about him. Never see him actually teaching. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumours of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I'm fascinated by ghosts and um, food and I was interested in learning more about the castle and the surrounding area. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. Repair all. Since our visit to the bell pond, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember our meet mentioning something about gobbledygook. Bombarda! Expelliarmus! Descendo! Bombarda! Off on another adventure, are we? The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant?
I do miss the bustle of business. Poor customers, afraid to venture out. Hello, Madame Beaumont. Good news, I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? It was harrowing and they dug in their heels, but I managed. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Marvellous. I could always use more of these. I could use some gold. You have my thanks. <laughs> Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you.
There they are up ahead. I'll let you lead. No witch or wizard will be spared. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Most goblins in my family worked in the mines at one time or other. Rebellion. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. human to worry about. Experience. Let's go. Who do you think you are? Uh, How true. 
childish. Expelliarmus. Protego. Descender. Expelliarmus. And bring up. Descender. Stop it. Expelliarmus. Descender. Where you will fail. Bombarda. Think you're clever, don't you? Bombarda. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. Revelio. I should tell you, rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Rebellion. We're making quick progress. than a job or not. <sighs> for better or for worse, we're in. Patricus Totalus! This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Whoa. 
Expel the orcs! An intruder! No! I, I will make you pay. <sighs> Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Rebellion. That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Uh. Incendio. Must be something around here that can help. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Defender. Rebellion. No wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Revelio. Bombarda. Incendio! That bridge has seen better days. Rebellion!
Perhaps we can mend the bridge to get across the chasm. Repair her. Rebellion. Incendium. Incendio. Rebellion. Well, we're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Arrest the momentum. Lumos. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos. Ah. Bombarda. Revelio. Crisis. Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Revelio. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. Rebellion. We have another fight on our hands. 
Why am I not surprised? Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Bombarder! 
Certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. You Gryffindors don't have a monopoly on bravery, you know. Rebellion. Incendio. <sighs> Have a look around in peace. Confringo! Incendio! Accio! Guardian the cavern door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Revelio. Find a couple more rune symbols. Not sure what I did to deserve that. Confringo! Wasn't expecting that. Rebellion. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still... Revelio. Something about this place feels odd. Rebellion. Cryptic led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, 
Why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. Now for the moments of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins are- Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable.
Professor, do you have a moment? I do. May I ask what attracted you to astronomy? You may. Might I assume from your inquiry that you wonder how anyone may have an interest in astronomy? Apologies, Professor. I suppose I do wonder about its relevance to us. I fear such a perspective is far too common among those who do not fully understand all that can be gleaned from the stars. Misperceptions frequently arise due to the confusion of astronomy with astrology, the ridiculousness of which I shall not deign to discuss. To answer your question, it was my dear sister who first sparked my interest in stargazing. The two of us spent countless nights on our rooftop staring at the cosmos. It was one of the only subjects we could study together. I'm not sure I follow, Professor. Why was that? My sister is a squib. Clever, hardworking and generous, but a squib nonetheless. The only non-magical child born to our family in generations, poor thing. Although she manages exceptionally well. It sounds as if she's a lovely person, and accomplished. She is. And to her credit, while she was once disappointed not to attend Hogwarts, she has excelled in Muggle school. One of the first women, we suspect, to have attended Cambridge, well disguised at the time by our mother as a gentleman scholar. And as astronomy is one subject shared between the Muggle world and ours, she and I have been able to maintain that common interest. We still sneak up to a rooftop now and then to gaze upwards, courtesy of a levitation charm rather than a trellis nowadays. Thank you for telling me about your sister, Professor. I was glad to. It is good to be reminded of all that one can accomplish when one embraces who one is. Now off you go. I am sure you've a star chart to review somewhere. in my family. I've never even cried. Even when my brother put a Grindelow in my bed. Possibly a bit of crying, but no tears. When I fell off my broom and broke his bones, they said they'd never seen me. Hello there. Hello, Armit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear, good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. 
cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me, being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. You received my owl. Good, good. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the Helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. A good castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. 
I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Be quiet. The door is looking at us. Lumos. Lumos. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. These machines operate on steam. Interesting. Incendio! I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Akio. I've read about mines like this. But seeing one is something else altogether. Revelio. Keep your wits about you, Amit. I'll get you through this mine. You ought to cut back on pudding. This took you for a time, Mr. Tallis. Someone there? Watch your step round here. Is playing tricks. I'm doing then. Watch your step round here. Uh, I didn't touch your help. But thank you for making me the first object of your suspicions. Now who my friends are, Natricus Totalus. That was a little more than I'm used to. We're being watched by a door. Lumos. Lumos. We're being watched by a door. Akio.
Incendio. Rebellio. Confringo Bombarda. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Let's take a look around, our meat. See if we can find any plants. Bound to be plants around here somewhere. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must be more nodes around here. What could they be building? Rebellion. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. I rebel to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Sneaking about, you'll see. Nothing over here.
Huh? Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Revelio. Bombarda! Rebellion. Devil's snare. Nasty stuff if you're not careful. Not an entanglement we need right now. Descender! Bombarder! Revelio! Lumos! Lumos! Bombarda! 
Should be the last of them, I'll meet. Lumos. Lumos! Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? Akio! Incendio! This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Loco what we found. Tracing our steps. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Alohomora.
We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift! A welcome sight indeed. Can we please talk about what just happened? That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who'd set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research and I know of the container. Ah, the reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but... I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, 
I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Gerald has confirmed what she needed. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. body like incendio. That's what my mother used to say. And then it might seem like harmless fun, but not when you've just had your hair done by Calliope's then. Again, wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I 
you're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Rays is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Start when you upgrade on the way. Hello, Hamora. Revelio.
Revelio. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. Revelio. Any who oppose Renrock will be eliminated. You can 
Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Descendo. Bombarda. Expelliarmus. Defendo. Incendio. Kumbringo. Arresto momentum. Propendo. Arresto momentum. Incendium. Confringo. Expel. Descendo. Bombarda. Expel the armor. Rebellion. Stupid. 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 Stupid.
I wouldn't give for a cup of mushroom tea. Rebellion. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. with a nice mushroom stew about now. You've won less follower, Ranrock. Bombarda. Revelio. Rebellion. 
Bombarder. Revelio. Incendio. Confringo. Levioso. Revelio. Defender. Bombarder. Rebellion. Here. Ah, isn't the sea air refreshing? Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio.
Revelio. I know I'm not in trial when I see one. Lumos. After all, Merlin. Ringo! 